And welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm joined now by Mike Thurtle, who is the President and CEO of Bethesda Lutheran Communities. Mike, how are you? Great, Justin. How are you today? I'm excellent. It's good to have you with us today. So uh, Bethesda Lutheran Communities is an organization that has its roots across the United States. What is Bethesda doing right now that's uh, helping adults with a variety of different developmental disabilities? Absolutely. We're located in Watertown, Wisconsin, actually not too far from the CW here, right. about a half an hour east. And we are located in 14 states across the U.S., have about 4,000 employees, and we serve thousands of people across the U.S. with developmental intellectual disabilities. Right, and you've been based in Watertown for over 111 oh, years 111 now. 111 years, that's correct. Wow, that's a long time. This is an old organization. How has the organization changed over that time? Significantly. As you can imagine, being an organization that's over a century old, there's not many organizations like that in right. the U.S., at one time, Bethesda housed hundreds of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And over the last hundred years, like many organizations, we've transitioned people out of an institutional model, a centralized location, out into more decentralized locations and group homes across the U.S. So we literally operate about 300 different group homes across the U.S. located in different neighborhoods, subdivisions, and communities where people live. So it sounds to me like you used the word institutionalized, like it used to be that this is where they were housed and this is where their lives primarily, Correct. where they existed. But now it sounds like they're, uh, they're getting more out in the community, they're in smaller housing units and so forth. Is that, is that accurate to say that? Yeah, literally, if you drove through a neighborhood, you would not be able to recognize uh, one of our homes that's different from another home in a neighborhood. You sure. could literally just drive right by it. So in the spirit of how we serve people today, we support them residentially, with their transportation needs and also through employment services. But in those res residential services, we literally are located all over the U.S. in that regard. And people live a life just like you and I do on a daily basis. Talk to us a little bit about those different services, like the employment services mm -hmm. and residential services that, that you offer. Well, one of the challenges in our country today uh, is, is to employ people with disabilities in a meaningful way right. and to seek a meaningful wage. And one of the things that we try to do at Bethesda is to allow everybody to have the opportunity to achieve their employment potential. And so we have different employment opportunities across the U.S. Up in Rhinelander, Wisconsin, we have opportunities. Watertown, we have different opportunities. In Texas and California as well. So we provide ways that people can work and achieve their potential. That's awesome. And, and having, having them employed in meaningful ways is so important. That's correct. For each of us, you, me, everybody, we're all people who want to seek out work and have a meaningful life in that regard. Yeah, we all do. It's something we all want. So I want to make sure I get this right. Bethesda just celebrated Direct Support Professionals Recognition Week. That's right. DSP Week. <laughs> DSP Week. That's a little bit less of a mouthful. <laughs> who are the Bethesda DSPs and, and what, why is the work that they do so important? They are literally our front line. They provide the services to the people that we support with disabilities. They are the people in the homes the people in the employment opportunities, the people who provide transportation. We literally have thousands of direct support professionals, and we honor and support them and are blessed to have a wonderful team of people that are out there doing our day-to-day -day work. Are there opportunities for folks out there who might be interested in becoming a DSP or direct support professional? Absolutely. Across the board, we have employment opportunities available in all the states that we operate, including here in Wisconsin. And we're always on the search for high-quality people to join our team. How do, they, how do they find out more? Can they go to the website? How do they? How they do sure they... can. Our, our website is BethesdaLutheranCommunities.org. Okay. Also on our Facebook site, if you were to search Bethesda Lutheran Communities. And we have right there on our website opportunities for employment here in Wisconsin and other places as well. Do you, do you find that over, you know, there are times when uh, the number of employment opportunities that you have might be up or down? Does it, or does it stay pretty even for the most part? What, what have you noticed over the years? Well, over the years, things have actually trended up in a way so that we always are seeking people to employ, and we are growing as an organization. So as you can imagine, when you're leading an organization in a growth stage like we are, you're always seeking people to sure. work at that organization. So we're in growth right now, and we have a demand for people. Talk to our viewers a little bit about how, how they can find out more about how to help and how to get involved with your mission. Absolutely. Like I said, our website is BethesdaLutheranCommunities.org. I think you're going to show it up on the screen as well. Yep. And out on our website, we have literally opportunities how people can volunteer, employment opportunities, ways to donate to our organization. Because of the, the situation we're in as an organization, donations are critically important right. as well. Yeah, all very important. 
number of ways of getting involved too. So, Mike Thurtle, President and CEO of Bethesda Lutheran Communities, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you, Justin. Great Appreciate talking it. with you. Have a nice day. Don't go away. When we come back, we're going to talk medical art prosthetics right here on Talk of the Town on CW57.